We'll be taking a look at upgrading a phone from older MPP firmware to newer MPP firmware using a cloud upgrader site. This will be a 8832 3PCC phone. It has older 1134 MPP firmware. We're going to be leveraging the Cisco cloud upgrader site upgrade.cisco.com. And we're going to notice towards the bottom left corner, there's an option upgrade MPP firmware. And again, this is for phones that already have MPP firmware. They just have older firmware. Once we complete this procedure, we'll have 11.3.6 MPP firmware, which is the latest and what currently, as the recording this video, WebEx calling is using. And these are the supported devices, 6800 series with MPP firmware, 7800 series with MPP firmware, also the 8800 series with MPP firmware. Please be aware excluding the IPDEC 6800 series MPP firmware, so those are not supported. Also, the minimum software the phone has to have already is 11.0.0 MPP firmware. Okay. Then this shows us how to determine what is the IP address of the phone. So the gear button, status, soft key, navigate to network status, press soft key, IP address field is seen here for firmer version of less than 11. Otherwise, navigate to IPv4 status, press soft key, and document the IP address. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to navigate to the following URL for the phone. Then we're going to go under voice and provisioning. And we're going to enter the following profile rule. And we're just going to copy the syntax by clicking it. And one thing to note is I am using an older version of Firefox. Also, I am logged in as admin advanced. So if you notice admin advanced, Okay, we're going to go under voice, provisioning, and we're just going to take a look at it, profile rule field. So we're going to go back, and we have profile rule, and we're going to delete the current syntax. We're going to paste what we just copied. We're going to go in and submit all changes. The firmware upgrade typically takes somewhere between three to five minutes. And once the phone is upgraded to the new firmware, the phone will reboot and it'll be another minute and a half for the reboot cycle to complete. So we're just gonna right now take a look at the phone, um, LCD screen while it's doing this operation. Okay, it's indicating the firmware upgrade is in progress. And one thing I should note is if the phone has firmware older than 11.0.0, this will not work as noted on the web page. I do have other videos how you can set up a local TFTP server and do the firmware upgrade from older MPP firmware to newer MPP firmware using a TFTP server. I also have another video that shows if you need to do it in bulk, how to, you can set up using DHCP option 66 in conjunction with a local TFTP server in conjunction with an XML file that you put on the TFTP server. So those are other options to you if the phone you have is older than 11.0.0 firmware. Also, the other thing to be aware is if your network has very tight firewall rules, there is some information on the upgrade.cisco.com site that talks about what is needed from a firewall standpoint. Okay, the phone is coming up here in runtime. Okay, we're going to go in and go into the settings now, status, product information, okay, and we can see it's 
3.6 MPP firmware. So right now the phone has the latest firmware. This matches up with what WebEx calling is currently running at the recording of this video. When you watch this video in the future, you definitely want to look at the documentation regarding what WebEx calling is recommending, what the phone has, any type of release notes. Thank you for watching the video.